It is a gender matter, but also a public interest matter. Safeguarding and using agricultural biodiversity is so important to provide a diverse nutritious diet and to face adverse events such as climate change and crop pests and diseases. And it heavily depends on women. Bioversity International and the Italian Development Corporation organized a one-day event on how to empower women through agricultural biodiversity. The event was held in the framework of Expo Milano 2015 and the European Year for Development. Women play an important role in nutrition, climate, resilience, and the conservation of these very precious resources. The event brought together keynote speakers to share experiences and to stress the urgent need to empower women all along the food chain, from farm to fork. Organizations represented included Bioversity International, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, the International Fund for Agricultural Development, Slow Food Oxfam and the International Centre for Advanced Mediterranean Agronomic Studies, as well as Fair Trade. Well, it's women that feed the world. In a lot of places they are responsible for buying and cooking, in a lot of other places, and those are the ones that we're going to focus on, they're responsible for growing it, for the harvest, for the processing it, and often uh, for selling it on. The debate, moderated by Al Jazeera journalist Barbara Serra and the Italian TV presenter Susi Bladi, focused on the challenges, opportunities and successes achieved by international organizations and local development actors in this field. Women's role as custodians of agricultural biodiversity is complementary to that of men, who often focus their agricultural efforts on growing cash crops and breeding livestock and are increasingly moving out of villages to seek jobs in the cities. This means that women, who are often the main decision makers when it comes to what to grow and buy for household consumption, are also taking over the day-to-day -day management of the farm. Women in poor rural areas are too often left to take over the full burden of agricultural activities. Their empowerment is an impelling and often neglected problem, says Minister Plenipotentiary Cristiano Maggipinto, coordinator of the Italian Development Cooperation Initiatives at Expo. According to the United Nations, granting women the same rights to access resources as men would increase agricultural productivity and help feed more people in a sustainable and healthy way. As special guests, women farmers who travelled from Mali, India, Bolivia and Italy shared stories about how their families and communities benefit from their choice to safeguard and use agricultural biodiversity in their everyday work. For example, in India, nutritious millets had been heavily replaced by rice until Bioversity International and the MS Swaminathan Foundation empowered women to reintroduce and market minor millet varieties on the farm. As a result, their income increased by 50% and millets came back in diets and in school canteens with surprising and documented benefits for the children's health. What we need is to study gender policies which fully embrace the feminization of agriculture and we need to invest in gender-specific research that considers the differentiated knowledge, skills and priorities of men and women.